Hello, welcome back. Beer review time, and I'm looking forward to this one. If you've not seen the thumbnail or the title, we're reviewing this. New, new Guinness cold brew coffee beer. I got this from Tesco. I'd imagine a lot of supermarkets have got it. 5 50 for four cans if you've got a club card in Tesco at the minute. And I've literally picked it up a couple of hours ago. And it's literally just got in there as far as I know. Ooh. So let's get into it. So first off, what does it say about it? Well, it says Guinness cold brew coffee beer. Flavorful notes of coffee, chocolate and caramel make it for a delicious yet refreshingly sweet taste sensation. Ooh. This is Guinness cold brew coffee beer. Beer with cold brew coffee and natural flavors. A lot of cold brews and coffees going on there. There is no denying the similarities between coffee and stout. From the roasty chocolatey notes to the more recent smooth and creamy nitro cold brews, which I've not tried yet. Guinness, the progenitor, <laughs> I don't know, using big words on me, of stout and nitro beer brings the perfect marriage of beer and coffee. With notes of roast coffee, chocolate and caramel, Guinness nitro cold brew coffee is perfect brew to share with friends before catching the game or getting ready for a night with friends. That's a gobful in one sentence. Bold claims, it takes adventurous spirit and irrepressible ingenuity to do things the Guinness way. From our humble beginnings in 1759, they've been going a while, to the present day, we've got extraordinary lengths to bring you exceptional beer. Ooh. Tasting notes, aroma, sweet smelling with a distinct coffee caramel nose flavour. Perfect balance of bitter and sweet caramel with roast coffee character. That's nice. Palette, rich, smooth, creamy and balanced with a notable coffee finish appearance. Dark with a rich, creamy head. We've waited long enough, ain't we? There we go. Guinness cold brew coffee. Wait for the... Dzzz. There it goes. Looks like it's going to have a nice creamy head on it. Do you know, pouring it, and I'm at arm's length here, I can smell the coffee. Right, we're going to let that settle before we finish pouring the rest in. As you do, do we, Guinness? Look at that. Definite notes of oh coffee that smells gorgeous. Coffee caramel, it in fact it doesn't even smell like normal Guinness. I know it's got all them flavours in, but I was expecting the normal Guinness with just a very slight bit of coffee. That is, it's a shame. For me, it's only 4%, because it is only 4% alcohol. I do wish they'd knock it up to 5 or something like that. Look at that. Topping it up now. We're topping it up. Let that settle. There you have it, look. Pint of the black stuff. It smells so nice, the coffee and caramel coming through. Shall we go in? That is jet black, look. Look at it, no light getting through it.
coffee. <sighs> Caramel now. You've got that underlying taste of the original Guinness and the creaminess is there. Thick head on it, look. Even out of a can. I wonder if they're going to do this on drafts in pubs. Be about 20 quid a pint round here. You've got the underlying taste of the original Guinness. That maltiness and the creaminess is all there. But then, you just get, as soon as it gets to your nose, coffee. The taste, coffee. And then, after that initial coffee, you'll get a lingering caramel flavour coming through. Right on the aftertaste. It's the hair again. Caramel. The more you drink, the more caramel comes through. But you've got that bitterness and the coffee flavour there. That is banging. That... Oh, I so want to try this in a pub on draft. Guinness, you've nailed it. That gets... I'll give it a rating like I can do on the food reviews. Thumbs up, no buts. And I'm actually going to give that two thumbs ups. And that won't happen very often. Because they've nailed it. The flavours are there. The coffee, the caramel. Thick, creamy coffee, caramel, stout. That's banging. Get it. Get it now. It's new out. It's in Tesco's, like I say. It's 5 50 for four cans if you've got a club card. If you're not, it's £6. Don't know about the other supermarkets because I've not been in a lot for it, but... Oh, so nice. That blows standard Guinness out of the water. It really does. Blows it out of the water. You need to get some. You do. Coffee. Caramel. On the nose, it is more of the coffee than the caramel, I can smell. Well, that caramel's there on the aftertaste. Now, I'm getting it now even stronger. Just, oh, that's so nice. It was really cold, by the way. It had been in the freezer for about 40-odd minutes to really chill it down. Done on that, just, if you like Guinness... Go and get it. If you don't like Guinness, it's not going to turn you because you have got the underlying Guinness flavour. But if you do like your Guinness, go and try that because you'll love it. I'm telling you. Let's bang him. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you've not, lie about it as always and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Comments below. Have you tried this yet? It is banging new. Banging new. Only just got in there. If you've not tried it, are you going to rush out and try it? Because I tell you, rush out and try it now. You'll love it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.